tired of cold calling this video shows you how to build your own ai sales bot to qualify leads and schedule appointments for you check out the links in the description if you would like to get all the resources used to build the ai sales voice bot let us say you have social media marketing agency you have website with contact button for customers interested in your services once the customer clicks the contact button he will be taken to a form where he will answer a few questions and submit the form once the form is submitted they will receive a call from your sales voice bot answer a few qualifying questions and set up an appointment for a discovery call if they are interested tools we need to set up the sales voice bot are fill out for filling the questionnaire is it it is a free alternative to type form you can create a free account with fill out then wapi ai where we will set up our assistant make.com to automate the workflows you can create a free account with make download the two make templates provided in the description with the free account you will get two free active scenarios and 1000 free operations that is sufficient for creating the ai sales voice bot calendly account to schedule the appointments and twilio to get a virtual phone number first get a 10 digit long code from twilio you can create a free trial account by going to twilio.com and get the virtual phone number you may need to upgrade to a paid account to use a phone number with the ai sales voice bot since we want to use twilio number for making our calls we need to import the number into wapi first log in to wapi then click on this phone numbers menu then click on this import button we need to enter here that twilio phone number twilio account seed and twilio auth token in order to get all these values log in to your twilio account navigate to your console scroll down and here you have twilio phone number that you can copy here paste it here go back to twilio copy your account seed paste it here go back to twilio copy your auth token paste it here and then click on this import from twilio once you successfully import the phone you can use it for inbound calls or outbound calls then let us go to fillout.com here click this login button and you will be taken to your home page if you already signed up for an account here i have already created the template form but if you want to create a new form you can click on this new form and then select this template and you can select from any of these available templates i have used this template to design our form here you can see the one that i designed you can take the template and modify as per your requirement once you finish designing your form click on this integrations scroll down and then select make then log in to your make account if necessary and click on this install when you see this screen this will install fill out forms in your make account now you need to import the first make template that i provided log in to your make account click on this create a new scenario then click on this three dots and then click on import blueprint then click on choose file then select this initiate ai call form submit file click on open once the file is selected here click on the save button here you can see the scenario is imported and it has two modules now click on this first fill out module then click on this create a web hook you can give any name here to the web hook i'm just calling it fill hook here you may see create a connection i'm seeing the connection because i already created one let us click on this add button here when you click on the create a connection you will see similar pop up box you can give any name to the connection I'm just call fillcon then click on this save button a dialog box will open asking you to authorize make to access your fill out forms account click on authorize here then click on this drop down box and select the form that you created earlier then click this save button we have now created the web hook now click on this okay button here click on the next http module we are going to make few settings here scroll down to request content section and carefully edit the field values here removing these existing values and replacing them with your own values this is assistant id this is your wapi assistant id which we will update later and then you see this phone number id 
we can get this from phone number page in wapi which we will update later we are using this dynamic variable first name and passing the value of the variable with this property assistant overrides click on this name and select the first name here then click on this number and then select the number field here and click on this email and then select this email field from here then close this out here and click okay button here now we are going to create our assistant in wapi log into your wapi account click on this assistants menu item then click on this create assistant you can choose any of the rebuilt in templates or click on the blank template i am clicking the blank template here and click on this continue button give any name to the voice bot let me call ai sales voice bot then click on this create ai sales voice bot first we need to set up the model here type the greeting the bot should say when the call is initiated in the first message field here i will be pasting as i mentioned earlier we are using first name variable and this will be substituted with the name of the customer when the wapi makes a call to the customer and then let us paste the system prompt here you can easily create the system prompt for your own business by asking chat gpt here i am pasting the system prompt i created you can modify this as necessary to meet your own business requirements we will use open ai for the provider gpt 3.5 turbo cluster for the model and leave default values for other settings like knowledge base temperature max tokens the model we selected gpt 3.5 turbo cluster has best latency out of other choices we have here for example you see here latency right now is 850 milliseconds and if i change this to other value you can see it goes up to 1050 similarly if i change to gpt 4 turbo cluster it went up to 1400 let us keep it at gpt 3.5 turbo cluster then click this transcriber tab we are using deepgram for the provider and nova 2 as the model and english as the language then click the voice tab here this is the voice the bot is going to use you can also click on this voice library and preview the voices that are available here i can click on this jordan and hear how it sounds the ballot is stronger than the bullet and i want to click on this adam and see how it sounds allow the world to live as it chooses and allow yourself to live as you choose go back to assistants and the voice tab for the provider i am using 11 labs you are free to select any of the other values you like and for the voice i want to use adam and scroll down and for the model we are going to use 11 turbo v2 this gives us the best latency you can leave other values here unchanged click the publish button here after publishing look at your assistant's url here and then copy assistant id by clicking on this and now come back to make click on the http module and replace this with your own assistant id now we need to provide the phone number id which we can get from the wapi account go back to your wapi account click on this phone numbers and copy this code now come back to make and paste it here i pasted that value here then make sure the rest of the values are filled and you can see here the type is specified as outbound phone call that means we are making an outbound call when we call this assistant id close this out and scroll up again next we are going to copy the api key of wapi and paste it into this area after the word bearer in order to get this value go to your wapi account and then click on this item below your profile and then click on this api keys menu item then copy your private api key by pressing this button then come back to make and the paste that value here make sure you leave a space after the word bearer close this out again one final thing we need to make sure is that in this url field make sure if you are making calls via wapi you have this url pasted here in this field now we are done with the configuration of http module then click on this okay button once all the configuration steps are done in this scenario click this save button to save your whole scenario now we can run a test and see how our first scenario is working click on this run once button after that make keeps waiting for a trigger then go to the form we created earlier type the first name last name type in the email and the phone number give your own phone number here so that wapi can call your number 
for our testing purposes. Click this radio button and then click this submit button. You can see my phone is ringing. I am getting a call. Hello Shiva, I am Adam Mark. Hello. You just filled out our contact form, so I'm following up with you. Have you got two minutes to answer some questions to determine if we can help you with your social media marketing project? Yes. Can you tell me a bit about your business? You can see our first scenario is working. Our next step is to import the second make template. You can follow the same steps you did for importing the first template. We need this to send Calendly link to qualified customers so that they can book discovery call appointment. We also need to use function call in WAPI so that WAPI can trigger the second scenario if the customer is qualified. Go to WAPI agent configuration and click on this functions tab. Scroll down and then click on this create a new function. Give any name here that you like. Let me call this send link and give the description. I am just calling this email calendar link. Then you can click on this add button. You can see the function has been added. We also need to provide the server URL information from the second make scenario. When this function is called, it will trigger the second make scenario that sends an email to the customer with calendar link to book the appointment. Go back to make, click on create a new scenario, click on the more button here, then click on the import blueprint, click on the choose file, then navigate to the directory where you downloaded the templates and select email link gmail.json file and click open here. Once this file is selected, click on the save button here. Here you see the scenario has been imported. Now we need to configure the webhook module. Click on the webhook module and then click on this add button. You can give any name to the webhook. I'm just calling this send link and then click the save button here. Now click on this copy address to the clipboard. Then go back to WAPI. Click in this server URL field of the send link function that we created earlier and then paste it here. Then hit this publish button. Now come back to make and click this OK button. Now we need to configure this Gmail module. Click on this Gmail module. You will see create a connection here. Then you can click on this create a connection. Since I already have a connection here that is being displayed, but let me click on the add button here. So you will see this screen when you create a new connection. You can give any name to this. I'm just calling this send make Gmail. Then click on this show advanced settings. Here you need to enter your client ID and the client secret and then click on this sign in with Google button. I made a separate video on how to get your client ID and client secret field values. You can refer to the above card if you have not already done that setup. I also provided the video link in the description. I pasted my client ID value here. I pasted my client secret value here. Click on sign in with Google. It will prompt you to choose an account that is connected with your client ID and client secret values. Select the Gmail account that you used to set it up. You will get another pop-up saying Google hasn't verified this app. You can just click on this continue button. You will get another pop-up saying sign into integromat.com just click on continue here again it is asking you to make sure you trust integromat.com click on continue button here again now your connection will show up here now most important thing is to capture the email address of the customer in this email address one field and also the name of the customer field here to get those fields here you need to execute this module one time then all values will be passed to our Gmail module and we will be able to select those values. Click on OK here. For that we need to run our first scenario, qualify the customer and trigger the second scenario. Click this save scenario button once so that your scenario will be saved. Before we test it out, make sure that first scenario is set to active so that it gets triggered by WAPI voice assistant. Here I am turning it on. Now let us go to our form and then fill the fields here. I filled in the first name, I filled in the last name, I filled in the email. I'm going to type in the phone number and then check this paid advertising radio button and then click this submit button. You can hear the phone ringing now. I am Adam from Zenith Marketing. Hello. You just filled out our contact form. So I'm following up with you. Have you got two minutes to answer some questions to determine if we can help you with your social media marketing project? Yes. Can you tell me a bit about your business, industry, number of employees, etc.? Healthcare industry, five employees. Right now, we offer paid advertising, content creation, 
and SEO services. Are you looking for one of those services? Yes. Great. I'll send you an email with a link to book in a call to discuss further. Have an awesome day. Bye. Bye. Our scenario should have been executed. Let us check it out. You can see the green letters here, which means the scenario got executed successfully. Now go to your second scenario. Click on this edit button and then click on this run once button. You will see a pop up here unprocessed data in webhook queue. It is saying we can run the scenario with existing data or get new data. Since we already executed scenario one, we can use that data. That's why I'm selecting use existing data here. You see these letters have turned green now. Now when you click on this Gmail module, we'll have all the parameters available here. Click on this email address, remove this and then get the email from the call. You remember we have specified metadata and then we have specified the email of the customer in the metadata. Navigate to the metadata field and then select the value here. Similarly, you can remove the existing value here and then get the value from the customer name. Expand this customer, select this name. You can also change the text in this subject area as per your business requirement. And also you can change the text in the body and then you can embed your Calendly link here. Once you made all the necessary changes in this Gmail module, click on this OK button here to save your changes. Then click on this save button to save your whole scenario. You can also toggle this to on so that the scenario is active and it runs immediately when the webhook is called. Now that you have both scenarios active, we can run a full test on our AI sales bot. Go to the contact form we created, type in the first name, type in the last name, type in your Gmail, type in the phone number, check this paid advertising radio button and then click this submit button. You can see I'm getting the call. From Zenith Marketing. Hello. You just filled out our contact form. So I'm following up with you. Have you got two minutes to answer some questions to determine if we can help you with your social media marketing project? Yes. Can you tell me a bit about your business industry, number of employees, etc.? Healthcare, five employees. Right now, we offer paid advertising, content creation, and SEO services. Are you looking for one of those services? Yes. Great. I'll send you an email with a link to book in a call. Have an awesome day. Bye. Our scenarios should have been executed successfully. We can also go to the Gmail and confirm whether we got the email with the Calendly link. Here you can see we got the email. And then I click this email. You can see this text. Everything is working fine as expected. Congratulations. You built a voice bot that can call customers, qualify them and email them a link to book an appointment. This may be a technically heavy subject video. If you get stuck at any point of time, you can communicate via the comments. Bye until next video.